Hey, what's going on folks? Forest Green here. Today, I'm here with a special friend. He is coming on the channel to help me with this power scaling video on Ryuko Mossboy from Kill the Kill. So Frisk, introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Frisk863 and it's nice to do this power scale with Ryuko. Awesome. Now, I'm going to go and start off with the attack potency. I'm going to go over certain things, but Frisk will also take, um, he'll also take on the rest of her information. She, he will go over her, tel her intelligence, her, her feats, some of her hacks, and some of the interesting abilities that she possesses, as well as the, the Sankets, her uniform. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with attack potency. So in her base, she should easily be around mountain level. Um, we have a nice little calc here, I'll leave in the description. But she was able to um, extend her scissor blade and increase the size and the range of it, which covered um, the academy. This was um, going off the calcs. Uh, this was uh, calced around mountain level, so she could easily just chop this, no difficulty. And this was, this was literally, without her, without the use of senkets, in fact she didn't have senkets anymore, she did this purely in base. So on to Senkets, when she's with Senkets, when she's wearing him, she's around country level. I will also leave a link in the description for that also. So the country level feat stems from uh, her cutting and breaking through the durability the primordial life fiber durability in its early stages. Uh, this durability was calc at country level. The link will be in the description so you folks can check it out more thoroughly. So that's going to pretty much cover up the attack potency on Ryuko's end. So on to speed, I have her around sub-relativistic to relativistic plus. Ryuko was able to slice 220 tennis balls, which was calced around Mark 8, 8,937, which is around sub-relativistic speeds. Now, that's pretty much it for her speed. And for her equipment, she possesses a scissor blade, which you can use as a sword and cut through enemies and um, and Goku uniforms and life fibers. She has many ways of using this uniform, so she can use her un. Sorry, she get, she has many ways of using her scissor blade. She can uh, extend it, so she can use decapitation mode, uh, decommission. Uh, where she basically extends it to far reaches and ridiculous ranges so she can cut things um, from, she can cut things down that are uh, abnormal sizes so she can casually just slice off a building or even anything that's bigger than a building for example. So that's, so that's pretty much it in terms of her sword. She also has her Senkets which is her unique uniform which draws blood from Ryuko and amps her and gives her various amounts of abilities and um, hacks. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this to Frisk. I'll explain the rest. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to be here to explain the hacks and the resistances and capabilities of Ryuko and Zankets. As for, um, I'll go straight first with the resistances. As for resistance, she's capable of uh, resisting a Ragi, Ragio's um, a mind control as she was able to break free of her life fiber. She was able to break free, free from Ragio's um, corruption from the, from the life fiber you know, from, with sheer willpower. Also, she was able to defeat the elites for, for like um, skill, she was able to defeat the elites which includes like one of them it had uh, the ability to like hide in stealth and they were able to calculate the surroundings of the area and location and try to find possible ways of uh, avoiding and dodging attacks and yet uh, Ryuko was able to defeat this same guy by making the Senkets so large that it eclipsed the entire battlefield so there was nowhere else to hide. She's even able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, the, one of the most skilled fighters in her verse, Satsuki Kiryuin. 
Sasuke Kiryuin is it's a her own is already claimed should be claimed to be like one of the prodigies in Kill a Kill, and it's proven so as her her authority throughout most of the elites in Goku Sailor uniforms, as a, she's she's naturally capable of and naturally skilled of bowing off a different. Elite, elites and different Goku uniforms, which is how she gained the title and is feared around the country in Kalakil. As for regeneration, Ryuko is capable of surviving her heart being ripped out, and and uh, she also sur survived um uh, being cut apart to be, I mean, uh, being uh, um impaled so much that she looks like Swiss cheese in her Kisaragi form. Yeah, her her regeneration is uh is up to the point where she can regenerate from from vital and internal organs getting severely damaged. And yeah, as long as she has a single thread of life fiber, she she's able to regenerate some some minor wounds or or se se several several wounds like serious wounds that are vital. Another thing that Ryuko has in store is Denkets, who works as a body armor to protect Ryuko from harm. And like what Forrest mentioned earlier, is she can amp up her power by drinking her blood. She also, she also can shapeshift into many different forms, even being giant enough to cover an entire stadium. And he's even capable of ensnaring foes when, if Ryuko, if they're going after Ryuko. Also, he also for like um for Ryuko's power, she's able to like um she's able to absorb life fibers and and absorb them so she can she can get a power boost and increase in her stats. And life fibers are generally uh, absorbing the life energy from people and their lifespan itself. So the life fibers, she's essentially just by draining people's lifespan. She can become a lot more powerful than others deem realize. However, you can just argue this because it really depends on how you see the life fibers in the versus debate. As for um, Ryuko's other stuff, Ryuko, thanks to Zenkets in other forms, Ryuko is capable of flight and also Ryuko. <laughs> Oh wait, and also Ryuko has a special ability at the uh, during her Ragio fight, which is likely specifically made for her and not an amp, where she says the 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 closer am I to death, the stronger I bounce back from it, which gives her a Zenkai boost, basically if she's at, in a near death scenario to give her a leg up. Yeah, not to mention that like also like. Ryuko was able to to regenerate from being impaled through the chest, and and yeah, she survived that as well. Even having so much blood uh, fall out that it's it's basically nigh impossible to kill her by making her bleed out. Showing when her her um Kamui, after she was wearing like um. Uh, she was wearing Sasuke's Kamui, and if she got mind controlled, got like not mind controlled, but more or less, she was getting mind controlled. And while she does have mind control resistance, the the, the time where she got mind controlled was more or less when she was having some PTSD on who she was because she couldn't tell if she was a human or alien anymore, and she had that that emotional breakdown. As for her, um, uh, to, as for her absorption, uh, it's stated in the sub version that her absorption is near limitless or um or almost infinite, and it, <laughs> and um I guess that's it for Ryuko Matoi, and I'll leave the thing to Forest Green. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Thank you, folks, for watching. If you folks enjoyed this lovely power scaling video please remember to leave a like comment down below let me hear your feedback and of course if you're new to both my channel and of course frisky's channel please subscribe for further content and i'd also like to say a big thank you for frisk for joining me with this collab but yes folks forest green signing out peace